I'm Katrin. I'm from Germany, Berlin, the capital. And um, I work in e-commerce, so I'm sitting in the office all day and I'm really a child of the city. And um, yeah, just came to the jungle to experience something completely new. I have the feeling that life in the city is it's hard. It's hard for everyone, even, even really people who consider themselves city people. Um, it's, it's a rad race. You're trying to make a career. Everyone is a DJ or writing free books. Everyone wants to be a senior manager or a boss. That's kind of our generation. And um, I just had the feeling that I lost my connection to nature and I think I'm not the only one. And I was searching for some kind of spirituality because I'm actual, actually a very rational person. Didn't ever have like a spiritual connection. Don't believe in God, but I don't have any, any way to find spirituality. So I chose the ayahuasca retreat to find my, my own little bridge to spirituality. When I first came here, I was actually very skeptical. I thought more, to be honest, and I know people don't like to hear that, but I thought that ayahuasca was a drug. I mean, it is a drug, but it's more like medicine. Um, and I was like, I want to see what all the chatter is about. I was curious. And also, I wanted to see if it can really solve problems. But also, if I can believe in it. I, my, when I came here the first day, I remember saying, I want to believe. And yet, yeah, it, it really worked out, even though I'm very skeptical, actually. I had a very great experience with ayahuasca. I even met her. She solved actually a lot of problems for me, but she also brought me closer to the person I, I really am. I think I can adapt that now in the big city and I think it's a huge chance for everyone to find a new find a new path or be more secure about the path you already chose because especially in the big city you always think you're wrong because you always see people many people around you doing a better thing getting applause for what they do or like having articles written, written about them or big careers, but you have to choose your own path. And that's what I learned to accept here, that my path, which is also based on minimalism, really works in the big city as well. And you can be close to nature in the big city as well if you have it in your heart. The shamans are amazing. Um, as, as just like the staff and the people that surround you here, um, they do amazing work. At, at first I wasn't sure what it's all about, just watching, watching the first, like, my first experience, it didn't, didn't really work with ayahuasca, but I could watch the whole ceremony and I didn't know what it's all about. They were like waving their palms, their little palm, palm leaves and um, singing very beautifully. And um, when ayahuasca started to work for me, I really felt that they are really here to protect you. You feel very, very safe. You don't have to be afraid. You hear very, yeah, you hear many horror stories, but there's really amazing shamans here. They've done it like for dozens of years. And um, yeah, you can talk to them. And uh, I really had the feeling that they are protecting us that they are keeping demons away, the demons that yeah, they believe in. But if you don't believe in it, you still have the feeling that they kind of protect your experience and keep the worst stuff away. Even if you have a bad trip, it will end. They are there. I think if you do a big step, and for me it was the same, if you decide to come here or you want, you're still unsure if you will want to come here, it's, all, it's normal to be a little bit afraid. Change is always something you're afraid of. It wouldn't be change if you weren't. And um, the jungle, of course, is 
a special special place in nature but it's not like there's poisonous snakes when you're lying there and, and, and trying ayahuasca you're really in a safe place and still enjoying the sounds of the forest feel the feel the rain you can really smell it everywhere and um, yeah you don't have to be afraid of ayahuasca as well it it gives you what you what you're asking for it's not like of course it's a special experience but it will change your life in a good way it's it never ends for people like changing in a bad way I think there's lots of misleading messages in, in, in the internet, like information that tell you many, many horror stories. I mean, horror stories about the trip, all right, everybody has its own experience, and I think the bad parts are a part of this. It's not like all, ooh, nice LSD trip. Um, but you hear horror stories like people dying, and um, but it's actually not true. I think, yeah, you read lots of stories um, that the shamans are not trustworthy, and I think that can happen. So do your research. La Luna, for example, is a perfect place to do it because the shamans really grew up with this. They're authentic. Everyone is searching for an authentic experience, and it really is but you still have people by your side who can speak English. So the staff speaks perfectly well English and um, they translate everything for you. It's also possible um, to do ceremonies in, in big cities. For example, like in Berlin, it's a trend um, since, I don't know, five years, shamans are coming also to big cities in Europe, um, doing their thing there. Um, now that I did it in the jungle, of course I would recommend doing it here because I think you have to be in a special state of mind to try ayahuasca. If I was at home now, just coming back from the office in the, in, and having my weekend, I wouldn't be in that state of mind. And um, also the shamans say that you have to have the connection to nature because ayahuasca is growing here and it's just working better if it's in its natural habitat. And that is why I think the f you can have the full experience here. But I think if you have um, already a connection to somebody in Peru, for example, a shaman you met, or a recommendation, I think you can do it in Berlin. But if you want to have like a real deep experience and you want to heal and you come with a real intention, then uh, you should definitely do it in the jungle.